Hello everybody and welcome to Sunday Stamping Part 2. <laughs> Today is Sunday, April 21st and as you are watching this, we are recovering from our party. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so while we're filming this, we haven't been there yet. So, <laughs> but we have an amazing evening plan to celebrate your 50th wedding anniversary. Yay! Oh my we gosh. are excited. <laughs> and it's so nice having our kids with us and some of our grandkids. Not everybody could join us, so we understand that. Um, unfortunately, both our amazing sons-in-law uh, couldn't make it this weekend, but uh, we're getting well wishes from them, so that's very special. They're, they're great men. We love them to bits. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> it is Sunday. It is April 21st. My name is Susan LaCroix. This is my daughter, Julie Davison. <laughs> We've been demonstrators for go almost 22 years. Going on for Julie, at least. Yeah. I'm in 22 in the fall. Yeah. Yep. And we're just really excited to be here. We have not missed one Sunday visit. Visit. Sunday stamping video <laughs> in almost three years. I and feel we, like this week was kind of cutting it close. It, it, I was a little bit worried, but yeah. we've carved out some time to do a little stamping and to share with yeah. you, and we're we're so excited to do that. So that is true. And that we is should very get started. True. And we should get started because <laughs> we still have some things to do. <laughs> All right, so we're going to switch to my desktop, and then we are going to. Uh, I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay. So we are using the mini catalog, and boy, there's just another, I don't even think there's two weeks left of this catalog. Like a week and a half, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. So, and you'll see what's on the cover, right? This is ice cream swirl, and that's what Julie and I are using. So let me take you to, well, we're I'll, I'll start here. Um, no, I will not start here. I'm going to start with the product. <laughs> And then I'll go to the page. All right, so here's the ice cream. It's a photopolymer stamp. It has 12 images with the cone. And there's some fun stuff you can do with this. And the ice cream swirl and some greetings and some cherries and strawberries. And Julie and I were having a debate. <laughs> so you can please answer for us. Is this a donut or is this a cookie? I thought because of the hole in the middle, it was a donut. I definitely see that. I was thinking the proportion seems likely that it would be a cookie. And I was thinking like a like a Girl Scout cookie Samoa or like a fudge stripe cookie. I can see that. But so I think it could be either one. I think so. Anyway, so that is the, the dies. So I'm sorry, the stamp sets. Here are the dies. So lots of fun things. I don't know how many there are in this. Let me tell you real quick. It's ten. Ten dies. All right. So this die, you can actually, you can either use just the image on the cone or you can make a, another little, like little card thing, which Julie, I believe, is going to share with us. Mm -hmm. And we've got a cupcake paper holder. And again, it cuts out the fruit and this fun swirl. So lots of fun things you can do with this. So I'm going to move this out of the way. And I'm going to go to that page, which is right here. It's on page... Um, 37 in the mini catalog and there's lots of cute samples here so you can see how this die cut out um, and you can make little cards and with the fruit and I mean there's just so many different things I guess I really never appreciated all the things you can do with this bundle so we're pairing this though with lighter than air designer series paper this one is a favorite. I it just is. love the colors oh, here. I do too. Um, and it was it was your idea because it just pairs so well, like sprinkles, yeah. and it looks very like um, just ice cream. -y. Yummy, yes. <laughs> it also goes with Easter eggs, so that was kind yes. of my thought as well. Um, the other thing, and this is sadly is not carrying over, mm. and it, it also is not on sale, which tells me that there may not be a lot left of this. Yeah. And so be I, because I think this is such a versatile DSP, I would hate for you guys to miss out and not have this in your collection of designer series papers. And this is a six by six paper. So this is, is actually the size that it comes. Absolutely, it is. So um, the, the bundle is carrying over. These um, dots are carrying over. The rainbow adhesive back dots, which make, by the way, perfect little sprinkles mm -hmm. <laughs> on a cupcake. 
They remind me of those candy dots that we used oh, to eat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They sure do. And then there's this Baker's Twine, which is, um, I think, Calypso Flirty Coral. Flamingo. Oh, Flirty Flamingo. Mm -hmm. Lemon Lolly. Oh, and um, balmy. balmy Blue. So that is what, what's in there. And again, the bundle's carrying over. Um, the twine is carrying over. These are carrying over. Sadly, the paper is not. All right. So I'm going to tuck all this stuff away and bring out my items. So, oh, thank you. Oh, I love having Julie I here. I know. Kind of my I assistant. Wish we, I wish we could do this in person. It's so much, oh, it is. So much more fun to stamp together. It is. So my card base is Lemon Lolly. It is eight and a half by 11, and I've scored it four and a quarter. This is going to be a fairly easy card because, to be honest, I have other things on my mind currently. <laughs> Uh, I have a piece of Calypso Coral, three and a half by four and a quarter. I have a piece of Basic White, which is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. So these are going to... So the, the first net. one, you said it wrong. The first oh, one... Oh, did I really? Three and a half by four, four and a half, half and three and a quarter, quarter by, by four, four and a quarter. quarter. Oh, my goodness. See? You, Good right. thing you're here. <laughs> Good thing you're here. So that's going to Look, gonna look at the words, it. not the... Don't listen to the words. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a Basic White inside piece, four inches by five and one quarter. And then one strip of this designer series paper, um, one by four inches. And that's going to go on the bottom of the inside. Now, you will need another piece, maybe even about the size of this post-it note, um, for part of it. So what I did, yes. So these, I die cut out the uh, cupcake paper from the designer series paper. And then this lemon lolly piece is actually, um, I'm going to stamp the icing. So I'm going to do that right now. So now they have all my little pieces off. And I also do the inside while I have my, my pieces out. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp the icing on this lemon lolly piece. I don't often put dye in with my frosting. Do you, Julie? I mean, not typically. I'm, I'm, I can think of like a few occasions where I wanted it to be a certain color, but no, mm. usually I just um, make vanilla icing and keep it white. Yep, that's what I do. All right. So we're done with that for now. And on the inside, I'm going to put um, Hope Your Day is Sweet. Uh-oh. Aw. Already? I know. <laughs> That was happening the other day. I felt I don't know where it was coming from. Because it's I don't see any of my fingers. Hope your day is sweet. Right up there. Perfect. And I'm also going to go ahead, since my ink is out, and stamp yum yum. And, and this is calypso coral. coral ink for yes, all it of is. the for all of my stamping today, it is. So I'm gonna put this up in the corner. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. And now, thank you, Julie, I'm going to close my <laughs> ink. <laughs> All right. So I die cut out the frosting, like so. And now I'm going to do a little trimming with my snips, because I don't need all of this frosting. It's a very, that's a big ice cream cone. It like really a is. Swirl. It really I, is. I can't handle that much ice cream. Like When I am getting an ice cream treat, of course... You know, it doesn't have to be ice cream. It could be custard, like uh, Bob Joe's like custard. Bob Joe's. <laughs> are we gonna Are we gonna have time for Bob Joe's this we're, weekend? Oh, we're gonna make time. <laughs> well, I didn't do the best trimming job on this, so I'm going to do a little more. All right. So that would be a lot of cupcake frosting. It would and be. a lot of ice cream. It would be absolutely. You're so right. So you've cut off. Let's see. You've just cut off the bottom. Right. So instead of using the whole right. thing, this is going to be what, cup, cupcake frosting instead sure. of ice cream. Sure. <laughs> sure. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and put this on here like so. Uh, and I'm going to use whatever seal this is. All right. Good. Well, I'm going to put the seal on the cupcake paper. And then I'm going to put the frosting on with some dimensionals. All 
because you know it's fluffy. Mm -hmm. I want it to be fluffy. <coughs> Excuse me for coughing. <coughs> oh my goodness. You okay? Yeah, I am fine. <laughs> I'm just choked up for the day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, so my card base is next. And it is scored and buried somewhere. But my Sue Stamper <laughs> brought me one. So I'm going to stick that back in there. And we're going to go ahead. And I'm actually going to kind of make this kind of Kind of catty wampus, I guess is the right word. So, yeah. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to just kind of, not a lot, just to give it a little bit of interest, like so. And then this will go in the middle of the card here. Nice. I'm telling you guys, this is such a simple card. And that's kind of what. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, makes it fun. <coughs> I love that you kind of transformed it, right? It doesn't have to just be ice cream. It could be a cake. Absolutely. And there's some different images in the stamp set that really, um, really give it a lot of versatility. Yeah, it really does. And I guess I didn't realize that or even appreciate that when I first started mm. working with this. Since Julie brought it over because confession time, I thought I had it, and I didn't. I called her and said, oh, no. She said, I'll bring mine. It'll be fine. <laughs> so there's our inside. So yum, yum. Hope your day is awesome. So cute. But we're not done yet. Of course we're not done. Because I need some of those <laughs> fun um, adhesive what? gems. I don't know. If... This is the one I was oh. using. So anyway, so this is rainbow adhesive back dots. And aren't they just yummy? They are. Oh, I Seriously, just, love just it. want to pick it off and eat it. Right? But I don't remember those candy dots tasting very good anyway. <laughs> Mostly uh, you'd get like yeah, a big chunk of paper on it or yeah, something. Some, something. <laughs> but I want some different sprinkles. Oh, I'm not in camera. Thanks, Jay. You were. Just um, okay. down in the middle. <laughs> so I'm just going to kind of start at the top and work my way down to um, put some sprinkles on our cupcake. And I'm using all the little ones in here. Okay, so we are at pink, lemon lolly, bubble bath, and this guy. Azure afternoon. Azure afternoon. Mm -hmm. I think you're right, Jewel. All right, so we've done that. So we will. Uh, I'm going to skip that for right now. One, two, because I'm going to count to make sure that I am. Um, Oh, let's see. I think that orange, this one, I, I think it looks more orange. I think that's supposed to be petal pink. Oh, I think you're right. That looks like peach parfait. I know, right? Like, <sighs> peach pie is the new color. So there's the like, blast yeah. from the past. Okay. <laughs> Crisp yeah, cantaloupe or one of those. We've had a lot of pale, yeah. um, pale oranges. Oh, I love that. I so love how it mirrors the designer paper. Exactly. Um, and really brings out all those colors. That was my intent. And then <laughs> I wanted to carry that over into the inside just with a little bit of designer series paper. So. So oh, that is my card. project. Yum, yum. And we're going to have some cupcakes tonight. We are. As you're watching this, it'll be last night. But um, yeah. instead of having a cake, you guys are doing a different flavor of cupcakes. Is that right? We're doing a dessert bar. So oh. there'll be different flavors of cupcakes. Some, um, If those of you are who are, are from this area will know what a bumpy cake is from Saunders. No, so they you're have a bumpy cake? The bumpy cake cupcakes. Oh, my gosh. And some cannoli. Oh. I'm going to skip right to the dessert there, bar. Well, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I think there's some brownies on there. I'm not, I'm not all sure oh my what Shauna's coming up with, but I'm so excited. S&J's Cupcakery, if you are in Southeast Michigan, is honestly, I've never had such wonderful cupcakes in the world. So uh, S&J's Cupcakery in Flat Rock. There's my plug for Shana. Yes. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right. So I am done with my project. And so I'm going to turn the camera over and give you one more peek at it. 
as we bid you adieu. All right, everybody, here is one last look at my ice cream swirl project card. Love this sweet it's bundle. It's a bundle. Love it. Love it. So glad it's going to carry over. Um, so anyway, I don't have any samples to share with you, but Julie does. So if you started with me and you have not seen her video, somewhere on the screen in just a minute or two or less will be a link to go back and watch hers. And she does have a few samples that she's going to show you. So anyway, that's kind of all for this week. We hope you have a wonderful week. And until next Sunday, Stamping with Susan and Julie. Bye, everybody. Bye, Mom. Love you. <laughs> Bye, Julie. Love you, too. Bye-bye. <laughs>